hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new on this channel my name is grace and i share sewing tutorials here thank you for stopping by in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i achieved a basque waistline on a skirt while placing the skirt on the base of the dress so if this is something that interests you watch this tutorial to the end so the first thing that i'm going to be doing is that uh, my client is going to wear the skirt on top of the base corset that we already made the tutorial of this base corset is already here on this channel up to the tutorial of how we dra draped the yoke so you can go to the channel and check out these tutorials so the first thing i'm going to do is to measure from one end to the another one side to another on the front part of this skirt then i'm going to locate the midpoint so I'll go ahead and uh, divide what I have into two and locate the midpoint. So obviously the midpoint is going to be where that middle bony is on the corset. So from there, I'm going to measure down to how long uh, I want the basque waistline to be. And uh, for my client, she doesn't want it to really go down so well. So I just made it three inches. Then from that three inches, I'll connect to one side. And from the middle again, I'll connect to the other side so if you want your horn to go down far more than this you can go ahead and use as much as five inches six inches then i'm going to cut this around making sure i leave an allowance of about half inch all the way around so after doing this i'm just going to be folding in my allowance just as you can see it that i'm doing it now then i'll grab uh, my needle hand thread and i'll use it to top stitch this all the way around so that i'll be able to attach it to the base of this uh dress so yeah to actually make your work easier you can make use of your curved needle i don't have a curved needle yet yeah, that's why i'm using the normal needle so i'm going to do this all the way to the hand and i'll also do the back also so i'm joining this skirt to the base with needle and thread then i'm going to be using my machine to give this a top stitch then i'll use probably beads or appliques to cover up the top stitch at the end of the day so basically this is just one of the method you can use to uh, attach your skirt to your base dress because you know this skirt was sewn apart uh, from the base corset before but now i've attached it to the corset and also achieve a basque waistline so the dress is one now then i'll go ahead to give uh, my rough stitches that i made with needle and thread a top stitch and also use my appliques, my bead or whatever I want to make use of to cover up the rough edges at the yoke area and also at the basque uh, waist area. So the next tutorials I'm going to be sharing will be tutorials on that. If you are interested in that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when I drop the tutorial. See you.